they are a, a special breed, as you can see, as this little guy is. He's extremely driven, extremely ready to please, but they're also very, very affectionate. They're these big, sucky lovers, and that's why I think uh, people who end up volunteering or working at the shelter, uh, like myself, end up not really knowing anything about pit bulls before working here, uh, end up really falling in love with these dogs that have such a terrible reputation. In while we don't advocate against breeding generally, if someone is really a professional breeder, they have only one type of dogs, they know what they're doing, but that's really not what we're seeing out there. The kind of thing that we're worried about is irresponsible citizens, people that just pick up a dog and decide anyone can breed their dog, so just decide that they want to have one litter. It's a big responsibility. Are you prepared to pay for all of the veterinary care for those puppies? Are you prepared to take those dogs back when it doesn't work out with the owner? Are you prepared to spay and neuter all those animals before you put them out? There's a lot that goes, in, goes into breeding dogs. So a dog's teeth should not look like that? Definitely not. Um, you can see sort of, and then that could be from a number of things as well, from depending on the, the care that she had while she was nursing her puppies, how long she nursed her puppies for, things like that. So, But you, you often see this in uh, overbred dogs, and I'm painfully aware of the overpopulation of these dogs. Um, and they're wonderful dogs, but because there's so many restrictions in various municipalities, it's not easy to place them. Um, so the areas that we can place them are limited and the numbers are really high.